Well, Islam has a very powerful monotheism, but in my opinion, yeah. I think it's contaminated with violence. Violence? Violence. violence. Yeah. How? If, if by any reason anyone is able to sacrifice his own life, that is violence. Okay. Let me ask you this. Do you justify violence in any other, in any context, or is it always wrong? In some context, yes. In some context? Yeah. Okay. Now you show me any context in the Quran where there is unjustified killing. Well, it does say that you should kill unbelievers under certain conditions. That's no, right. it's unbelievers in the context of war. Yeah, that, that's the, the condition, that it, because you are at war. What would you do in a war? You don't kill your enemies, what do you do? You turn the other cheek? Yeah, but for me that is violence, isn't it? No, but in the context of war, what would you do? So it's justified in your religion now. Is We are talking about justified wars. Think, think, what would you do in a justified war? Do you not kill the enemy? Does it make sense to you uh, as a religion that under any circumstance that's no, no, justified I didn't say, violence? I, no, no, I'm asking you if you... No, no, I, I also agree like you yeah. that in certain contexts you have to use yeah. violence and defend yourself. For example, this country, England, defended against the onslaught of the Nazis during the World War. Yes, do you agree? Yes. Do you think they had the right to defend themselves? Yes, it was justified. Was that justified? Yes. Good. In that war, do you really think they went and kissed the Nazis? Or did they, did they use all their might to destroy them? Um, well, I, I understand that, that there are some conditions to that. But they also you can choose, as Jesus put it, not to strike your enemy, put the other cheek. No, you no, could no. Choose to no, hold, hold on, hold on. Jesus, when he says turn the other cheek, doesn't mean you let the oppressor run over you. Or love your enemy. Yeah, but do you think that's practical in a war? No. Exactly. You, yeah, but you, so you're believing you, you in you something. Look, in the Quran, Allah says that if the enemy wants to make peace with you, yes, then you have to accept that peace. And not only that, accept the peace, but you have to take them to a place of safety. You have to escort them to a place of safety. This is the message of the Quran. Another message of the Quran in Surah Al-Ma'idah, Allah says, if you kill one man, one human being, unjustly, then it is as if you have killed the whole of mankind. And if you say one man, it is as if you have saved the whole of mankind. This is the message of the Quran. Maybe you haven't read it. Maybe you heard no, about I Islam have, I have, I have heard from, about the, the, the killing of one from the media or from the Islamophobes or from non-Muslims who are enemies of Islam. What you should look at is look at the Quran and wherever you find this context of war. Yes, of course, there is killing mentioned and advocated in there because that is what happens in a war. In any war, people do kill each other because this is what a war means. Yes, you can choose to accept that justification. But there is one religion called the Jehovah's Witnesses. They have accepted or they have decided. Yeah, they're pacifists. Under any, yes, they're pacifists. Yes. Under any circumstance, they would be yes. violent. So if somebody comes if and rapes somebody, their daughter, they'll just they stand would, there. They, they would, they would. Do you agree with that? Uh, uh, I don't know. If, what do you mean you don't know? If somebody, have you got children? Because have you got children? No, I haven't. You haven't. If you, if no, you, no, but, but do listen, you wait, wait, wait. No, no, listen, listen, listen. Do you have brothers and sisters? If you do you have brothers and sisters? I do. If somebody wants to hurt them, would you just stand by? But that, I'm answer answer that the question. My, answer the question. My, my, my you answer. have to look at it practically, not from an, a point of view which is might be an ideal point of view, but it's not practical. So if somebody comes and hurts yes, your family, hear me out, hear me out. If somebody comes and hurts your family, are you going to stand and be a pacifist? No, you no, said, no, you no, said in certain contexts, yeah. you would agree that war is, is, is the answer. Yeah. I know, I know. So, so you as a non-pacifist, what would you do I if your brothers... Take, I, I would take action. Exactly. Yeah. But so let's, let's discuss between you, your belief, and the belief that I'm talking about, about Islam. Because you said your objection about, violence, about Islam yes, is the yes. one. But you know that the kind of violence you're talking about here mm -hmm. is what you already agree with. In the context of a war, there has to be force. Yes? You need to use force in the context of war. You do not stand along, be a pacifist, because that wouldn't be a war. Yes. Okay. Do, do you have a copy of the Quran? Do you want a copy? I'm not going to say no. I'm okay. not going to say no. Thank you.